Hi, we are going to talk about electron configuration. Now, electron configuration is uh, the arrangement of electrons in an atom. I tell my students, it's like we give an address to where every single electron exists inside of an atom. Um, and it's pretty neat. If we were to draw a picture, it gets really complicated and messy. And so scientists decided to use numbers and letters to represent where those electrons exist. So it's a little bit cleaner. Uh, I want to give you just a very, very foundation of electron configuration. This is what it looks like. This is always where you begin, 1s2. Now the one, the large number that you uh, write, is the energy level. That's also called the shell. Uh, the letter that you have here is going to be S, P, V, or F. It's the block, and that's also called the subshell. And then that superscript right there is the number of electrons that are in that particular energy level and block, that particular shell and subshell, how many electrons. Um, now, I'm assuming that you've already gone through the basis that you know how many maximal electrons and orbitals are in each block, um, that you understand periods and groups. Um, so I'm, I'm assuming that you've already um, worked your way to this spot. Um, couple of notes. The number of superscripts, if you add, if you sum all the superscripts in an electron configuration, that equals the number of electrons in that atom. I'll show that to you. Remember that neutral atoms, the electrons and the protons equal each other. Everything that I do in this video is going to be for neutral atoms. There's another video for ions and electron configuration. Um, two things I tell my students. Number one, you always begin with hydrogen. And number two, you follow the atomic numbers. Now there is, um, you may be seeing this little diagonal thing in your textbook of how to figure out electron configuration. I personally think that there is a more efficient way to do um, electron configuration, and it's using the periodic table. If you follow the atomic numbers, they will tell you and lead you with the electron configuration. Um, now with this, I'm going to do several. Um, it's a pattern, and here's the great thing. Once you've got the pattern, you've got it. Um, give me some grace though. It's going to take you just a minute to figure out the pattern. It's going to be like a puzzle that your brain's trying to put everything in its right place. Once you see it, you've got it, but it's going to take a couple of tries. So give me just a little bit of time. We'll do several examples and I, I promise you'll get it. So here we go. Let's begin with nitrogen right here. We're going to do the electron configuration for nitrogen. Um, so nitrogen has seven uh, protons, neutral atom is going to have seven electrons, and we need to show where all of those electrons exist. So you always begin, number one, right there, hydrogen. Um, the energy level for hydrogen is one, it's in the S block, and S can fit a maximum of two electrons. A little reminder, helium is actually in the S, S block, it fits right there. But scientists chose to write helium on the periodic table over here because it has very similar chemical and physical properties to the noble gases. But no, helium goes right there. So there's your one, two. That's where my two comes from. So I'm following one, two. That brings us to number three. Lithium is in the second energy level. And this is still the S block and it fits two electrons. A little reminder, there's your S block, the D block, F block, and P block right there. If you need to go back and uh, watch that video, you can. Okay, so that gets us through number four. So let's travel to number five. This is still the second energy level. We're now in the P block, and there are one, two, three. Three electrons. So check this out. Two plus two is four plus three is seven. Now, if I were to draw this, we would have your nucleus right there in the middle. We'd have the first energy level. First energy level, S is a sphere, and you'd have two electrons. Then you'd have the second energy level, S is a sphere, and we've got two electrons. Now we're still at the second energy level, but it's the P block. And you'll recall that the P block is when we have three sets of dumbbells on the Y, X, and Z axes. So let's um, draw a set of dumbbells on the Y axis x-axis, notice I'm going out to the second energy level, and the z-axis. We've got three electrons, so one, two, three. So that is where all of those electrons are. Now just looking at that, it's a mess. Uh, we can't draw an atom every time we're trying to show where the electrons are. 
this is much cleaner. First energy level, S sphere, two electrons. Second energy level, S sphere, two electrons. Second energy level, P, the three dumbbells, three electrons. Okay, let's keep going. Let's do um, a coin right here. So atomic number 17. Uh, we always begin with hydrogen. So we're going to do coin. We're at the first energy level, S block, and you can fit two electrons. So there's one, two, brings us over to number three. Second energy level, S block, two electrons. Travel across to number five, second energy level, P block, six electrons. That gets us through 10. Notice one, two, three, four, five, six. Six electrons. Um, so now we come down to number 11, and we have third energy level, still S block, fit two electrons, brings us to 13. So now we have third energy level, still in the third energy level, P block, and one, two, three, four, five, five electrons. Now I want to challenge you for just a second. What if I had only done three P one? Sometimes students will hit the P and they'll just automatically do a one or a six. If I put a one right there, what element is, would that be the electron configuration for? If I did one is two, two is two, two P six, three is two, three P one, what element is that? So third energy level right here, P block, one electron, that would actually be aluminum. Now let's change it again. What if I did one is two, two is two, two P six, three is two, three P six. That would be argon. So that's the difference between those. Now on your periodic table, there are two places that I want you to mark. I call them chinks. I'm sorry, I probably made up a word. Um, for lack of a better explanation, um, I say there's two chinks in the periodic table. The first one happens right here. After our 4s2, I want you to write 3d, 3d. Um, so you go 4s2 and then scandium is 3d right here, that's 3d. Um, that is going to be a lower energy level. And then the Ds all follow suit. So this is 3D, that's 4D, 5D, 6D. If you wanna write them all, you can, or just write 3D, and then you can count down from there. Um, so you have 4S right here on the potassium, 3D10, and then when you get to number 31, gallium, it is 4P. The S and the P always have the same energy level. Okay, the second place, I'm gonna erase this so that you can still read the periodic table. Second place that we have this chink, a shift um, in the energy levels. So literally put your finger on your periodic table on barium, atomic number 56. Where's number 57? Okay, 57, and then look at this, 58, 59, 60. Um, if we were to write the periodic table accurately, really how it, it exists, we would cut our paper right here, push all of this over and take this F block and fit it right there. It takes up so much paper though, to save space, we've removed this F block and we put it down here at the bottom of the periodic table. Um, so you're going to have your 6S, and then this is 3D, 4D, 5D, we come 57 down to number 58. So if this is 6s, this actually skips two. It is 4f, which makes our thallium down here 5f. There you have that. Okay, so let's do um, let's do a krypton. Okay, we're going to do krypton with um, a little more information on the periodic table. So again, where do we start? Hydrogen. Um, electrons will always fill the lowest energy level first. So as electrons fill an atom, you always start at energy level one, hydrogen. So here we go. Energy level one, S block, you can fit two electrons. Now we're at number three. Second energy level, S block fits two electrons to five. Second energy level, P block, you can fit six, puts us through neon. If I was to stop, that's neon. Let's travel down to number 11, sodium. Third energy level, S block, two electrons. Travel over to number 13. Third energy level, P block, six electrons. If we stopped right there, 
that would be argon. Um, let's keep going. We're now at uh, potassium. Atomic number 19. That is the fourth energy level S block. So it's two electrons. Now we have to be really careful. I'm at number 21. This is third energy level D block, 3D. And we can fit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten electrons. So that brings us all the way to zinc. If I stopped right there, that's zinc. Uh, now let's go to gallium, atomic number uh, 31. This is the fourth energy level P block. And I want to go to krypton, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. That is the electron configuration for Krypton. Okay, I wanna do two more with you, two more. Let's do, uh, let's go all the way down to, um, let's see, which one should we do? Let's do a radon. Okay, let's go down to radon. This will be, this will be good practice. Um, actually, yeah, let's go down to radon. Okay, deep breath strong. <laughs> Start at the beginning, hydrogen. We're going all the way to radon. We want to show where 86 electrons are. Okay, hydrogen, 1s2. So first energy level, s block fits two electrons. Second energy level, um, s block fits two electrons, five. Second energy level, p block fits six electrons. Come over to number 11, third energy level, s block fits two electrons. Travel, third energy level, P block fits six electrons. Come down now to um, potassium. We've got fourth energy level, S block, two electrons. And I'm really careful, scandium is third energy level, D block, 10 electrons. Brings me to zinc. Gallium is fourth energy level, P block, six electrons. Gets us through krypton. Come down to number 37, five, um, energy level five, S block, two electrons, go to uterine. This is 4D, so 3D, 4D, 4D, 10, so 10 electrons. Gets us through cadmium. Now we're at indium. This is going to be 5P6, gets me through xenon. Okay, now we're at cesium. I'm going to pull this down here. Um, six energy level, S block, two electrons. There's barium. Okay, there's barium. Um, now I said that we are going to go all the way to radon. Now we could write the 5D1 and then write our 4F, come down here. But because I know I'm going to fill all of this, I keep all of my Ds together and all of my S together. So we're going to, I'll pick up this when I do our D block, okay? So, um, we are going to have, let's come down here. We're going to have um, the cerium. This is going to be 4F14. That gets us through 71. Now come back and we will do the, so 3, 4, 5, 5D10. There we go. We have all of the D elements for the fifth block. We have all of the elements from that 4F. Um, if you needed to do like a um, 5D1 and then a 4F1, that would be um, your cerium, that's fine. I just like keeping these together instead of doing 5D1, 4F14, and then doing the, the rest. I just write them all together at the same time. Okay, so that got us through mercury. We're doing great. Um, this, okay, so I'm thinking energy level, it was six the sixth energy level, S and P are the same. So this is going to be 6P, and then I wanted to go to uh, radon, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we have it. So that is the electron configuration for our, um, for our radium. Now, another thing that I want to show you, um, sometimes you'll see electron configurations written where, see this 4F and 4D10? Um, and the 4P, you'll see people write those all together. Um, so they would maybe have all the ones together, all the twos, all the threes, so they'd actually move 3D over here, all the fours together, then all the fives, all the six energy levels. It's fine, it's fine. Writing it this way, it's just showing the electron configuration. Honestly, it's sixes, you can write it either way. Uh, if you see it written with the energy levels all together, not a big deal, that's, that's totally okay. 
All right, so there's the pattern um, of how electrons fill. Just a reminder, if we added up all those sub, uh, superscripts, they would equal 86. Shows where every single electron exists. Those are the 86 electrons, their energy levels, and their, um, their shapes, the block, the, the subshells, where every electron goes, they all have an address. Electron configuration, good work, thanks.